today at the Murphy School in Durham, North Carolina, and we're really excited to have the 100th anniversary celebration of Country Dance and Song Society. Um, this is our North Carolina version of this, and um, we're here at the Murphy School, as I said, and so let's go on inside. I'm Susan Duke and I am on the board of the Triangle Country Dancers Organization and I'm one of the members of the joint group of the English group, Sun Assembly and TCD have jointly sponsored this event to celebrate the 100th anniversary of, of our dance. So um, here's Here's the yoga studio where we have a number of events this weekend. Shall we go in the yoga studio? What a lovely space for a jam. So bright and sunny in here. We're setting up for a blues jam, I believe. And here's registration. I'm just coming in, so what would I experience? Are you a member of TCD, Sun Assembly, or CDSF? Yes. All right, so <laughs> if you're a member of one, it's yellow. If you're a member of two, it's red. If you're a member of all three, it's um, blue. blue until it all. Until we run out of buttons. Until we run out of buttons, and then we also just have paper. Uh huh. So. And then you have the membership lists here. Well, and we. Uh, I'm taking your word for it, but yes, yeah. I do. And then we also have the Passport yes. to Joy, which is right. the, the um, celebration, the centennial celebration, so and we have our own very sticker for this and event. If you forgot your passport, you can just tear it off, just like I did. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they were sitting by the piano, but, uh, and we have these great programs with the rock. Yes. It's really, really nice. It's a celebration of being members, yes. and so and we want 100 years of CDSS, which is the organization that all of this dance activity is about. And here's the boardroom. This is also the room where they're doing singing and um, where storytelling will be held, also. I wanted to introduce you to Cecil Sharp. Cecil Sharp was an Englishman and he was collecting songs in England, uh, country songs. In 1915, he organized this group called Country Dance and Song Society in the United States. Then he also went on a expedition in, the, in 1916 and came to the North Carolina. He found that there were a lot of um, dances that he believed were probably originally the way they were danced in England that were 
um, still danced to, the, to that day in the Appalachians. Later it was found that there were a number of other influences brought into those dances and that they're really very original kind of American dances as well as having a lot of um, a lot of focus on the original dance of, of the English. I, I'm an English musician, and I'm here looking for people who sing the old songs and play the old music. And I'm told, is there anyone here at your house who, who plays music? Or Who's sing? that? <laughs> Pardon me, sir. The name is Sharp. Cecil. Oh, get the shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Here's our dance hall. We're getting things all set up here, getting the floor swept. And the musicians are on board. Getting ready to square dance. Everybody wants to know the future of The heart of any place, I think, is where we eat. Lots of socialness here, too. Spread. 